Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tropico 6. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be jumping back in to one of my favorite city management and political mess management franchises of all time. It might be the only franchise that combines city management with resource management and political mess management. And I say political mess management because, well, you'll find out. I'm excited, though. I am very, very excited to be jumping in to Tropic 06. This is the Tropic 06 beta. This game is not out yet, so it is not a full game at the moment. But we are going to be starting a mission today. We're going to be starting a new game. We're going to be going into missions. And we have two of them available. We have Penultimo of the Caribbean and we have Acts of God. We are going to be doing Penultimo of the Caribbean today which is the very first joint adventure of El Presidente and his loyal aide, Penultimo. The story tells of how they met, a murder conspiracy, and Penultimo's masterful plan to fund their way to independence by smuggling gold nuts. Okay, fair enough. This mission focuses on smuggling, logistics, and proclaiming independence. We can make it hard, easy, normal, whatever. We're going to stick on normal, and we are going to begin. Most beloved Presidente, do you remember Tropical? Emerald palm trees, platinum beaches, and crystalline seas, from which the sun reflects like the twinkling of jewels and golden coins. It is I, Presidente, Penultimo, your faithful aide, your biggest fan. I chronicled your triumphs. Fear not, for nothing was written down. Penultimo never forgets, unless he is told to, of course. So, let us enjoy these stories of the past. And what better place to start than the time you first met your loyal Penultimo, oh most successful Presidente. It was like the first sunrise of my life. Hello there. You must be the new governor. I'm Lord Wyndham, voice of the crown, and it's your job to do as I say. Until your mandate runs out, at least. Well, that's a little bit intimidating, Lord Wyndham. But hello, good to see you. Powerful friends, indeed. We need a sugar plantation. We'll go ahead and get right to that, but I'm going to pause the game before we even get started because it's actually quite a beautiful looking game, to be completely honest. I all, I've always loved the look of Tropico. I always loved the tropical setting and the beautiful blue seas and the... the Beautiful beaches. I, I love, I love the look of this game. I really do. I also love that we have all these islands that we can go and do things with at some point. But to begin, we do have to plant or create a sugar plantation. So let's go into construction down here. Let's go up to food and resources. Go to plantation. And we can see right here, this overlay is actually super useful. This is currently the, uh, how good corn would be. All the green areas, the yellow areas, the red areas. The more green it is, the better it is for the crop. But we don't want corn. We don't want bananas. We don't want pineapples. We want sugar. And fortunately, sugar can be grown right down here fairly easily. So I'm going to go for that spot right about there. And I'm going to say, let's get me a road that goes from there, straight across like that, and straight down there as well. So that we can expand around the sugar plantation without too much hassle. I'm also going to go like this, just because I can. And I reckon a road out like this. Again, sort of just because I can. I just think it looks good. I think it looks nice. So we're going to do that. Now around the rest of town, before I continue the simulation, we have our dock. This is where everything gets imported and exported. This is where a lot of immigrants come in as well. So that's what the dock is all about. The bunkhouse is a relatively low quality housing option. You need to be poor to live here. Minimum, basically. The tavern across the road, I suppose. Is, well, it's a tavern, let's be honest. 
where you can decrease the jump quality by 10, efficiency increase by 25. You know what? We'll do that. We'll have an all-you-can-drink tavern right by the docks. And then next to it is actually a shack. This is what happens if people are homeless, which we'll get to in just a moment. Moving up here a little bit. The Teamster's office. This is basically organizes logistics on one island. It will transport goods from production to processing, transport goods to docks for export. Basically, one of the most essential buildings in the entire game. Construction office. I think we all know what that does. We've got a plantation, corn plantation right there. We have a country house, which is for people that are well off or better. We have a chapel here, which is actually quite interesting because it's currently set to help first preach later. Meaning that the service quality is decreased by 10, but if visitors have their healthcare happiness lower than 20, they will also receive healthcare service with a quality of 20. So this will actually help with regards to healthcare. Then up here we have a bunch of uh, bunk houses again. We have a ranch over here currently with cattle, and we have the palace. Now the palace in Tropico 6 is great because you can customize the layout. You can make it look whatever way you want to make it look. I'm going to go with the backyard because I think it looks great. You can change the path to be cobblestones or radial cobblestones. I'm going to go with radial cobblestones. The boundaries can be Victorian or brick walls or hedges or plastered walls. We'll stick in Victorian and uh, we're going to exit customization mode. You can customize El Presidente himself. I'm not really interested in doing that. Why does it look like this has been on fire? Oh, that's not the button I wanted. Uh, that's that's a bit weird that it looks like it's been on fire. Also, in case you're curious as to why I zoomed out there, Spacebar does this, and I'm used to Spacebar being paused in a lot of management games, so you have to forgive me on that one. Anyway, I think we're probably good to go ahead and get the game running. We'll speed the game up a little bit as well, and we'll get the plantation done here, built in hopefully no time at all. Now, I mentioned at the beginning, actually, just before that gets built, that this is a p political mess simulator. I say that because if we go into the almanac here, we can get an overview of everything. There's 31 people homeless, 32 unemployed, happiness is terrible, health isn't great, the balance last year was this, the Swiss bank account is this. There's currently only one superpower, and that is the crown. And in this case, the crown actually rules over us. We aren't independent, we are ruled by the Crown. There are two factions at the moment, revolutionaries and royalists, both of whom my standing is, it's, it's about 48. There's 29 revolutionaries, 30 royalists, and they don't even like me about halfway. They're like, eh, he's all right. So we're gonna have to manage the standing with the factions, but as time goes on, and in different missions or in sandbox mode, there will be other factions to deal with. We can also have a look in detail at happiness and see, you know, overall happiness is 33, food happiness is 34. Currently, the highest happiness is from liberty and safety, which is great. We can see population growth and decline. We can see the age, etc., etc., etc. We can see all of this detail, but the political side of it is very, very interesting, to say the least. Anyway, let's get this ranch going. You now want a rum distillery, which is totally fine. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go in here. We'll go to industry. We'll get a rum distillery. And the rum distillery can live right there with a little road that leads out to it from right there. There we go. So we can get that built, hopefully, fairly quickly. And it is worth mentioning, there is a an exclamation point down here. That is trade. And the reason that exists is because we have got a trade route available. So we could export coconuts or corn, sugar. Actually, no, we can import sugar. We can export tobacco. We could export gold. We can export rum. And considering we are about to get a rum distillery, actually seems like a pretty good idea. Now, let's see here. The revolutionaries want me to build a library. And as a reward, I can get revolutionary immigrants. I can get $2,000 or a random blueprint. I'll do it. I will absolutely do it. Now, let's see here. 
The crown, the crown would quite like more plantations. And I can extend my mandate time by 18 months if I do that. Or I can get five immigrants or $2,000. We're going to go with mandate. Now, it is worth pausing for this point right here because down here in the bottom left, this, I believe, is my mandate. So, essentially, seven years, seven months. That's, that's how long I've got unless I extend my mandate. Now, let's see here. They wanted a library. So, we want to go to media and education. And we can get ourselves a nice library. And I think we'll throw it, I reckon, right about there will look beautiful and just because i can i'm gonna throw some roads around my palace because it'll look absolutely beautiful so the library will get built the rum distillery is about to be done we do need more plantations though and i'm thinking it might be a good idea to go for another sugar plantation because another sugar plantation is going to mean that we can export a bunch more rum. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll have a little look. We're going to need more food. So what if we did some corn or something like that? We could do a corn plantation. Well, we could do it there, but it would overlap a little bit. We could technically do it right in the middle here. Which honestly, I think I will do. So a corn plantation right in there. And that'll be everything getting built. Let's slow the game down just a little bit while we do it. And I have to say, man, I love Tropico. I just I just want to throw that out there. I do love these games. I absolutely do. I love the charm. I love the music, the art style. I really, really love them, man. They're so much fun. They really are. And it is worth mentioning as well. There is a sandbox mode in this beta. So we'll do the two missions. And if y'all want more after the two missions, let me know. Absolutely let me know. Uh, let's go ahead and extend my mandate. Oh, hello. So, you want a teamster port on each of the three other islands. Okay, let's accept that. Let's pause the game, and if we go... Oh, if we zoom out, we've got one, two, three islands right there. We're going to need teamster ports. So, let's go in here and go to infrastructure, teamster ports. Basically, same as a teamster's office, except... It's travel between islands as opposed to uh, on just the one island, which kind of makes sense. So we'll go ahead and get a port right there. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a port down here. I could put it in this cove, but I don't know how well that would go. So we'll throw it right there by the SOS sign, of course. What is this? Oh, it's just a bush. I, I saw that in the opening cutscene and I thought that might be like a person, but apparently not. Fair enough. Someone needs rescued, though. So, uh, we'll get that at some point, and we can go to Teamster Port here. And we can throw one just up there as well. I'm not entirely sure how those are going to get built, though. I, I really have no idea. I guess I could, very cheekily, go and say Quick Build. And I could very cheekily go and say Quick Build. And I could very cheekily go and say quick build so there we go oh we need a coconut harvester we'll get one of those at some point we've also discovered gold oh this is where this is where the smuggling begins isn't it okay we've discovered gold the crown will want it but you could uh Export this gold to fund our struggle for independence. I know some exports in secret trading who are uh, nearby. Think on it, Governor. As the people whisper revolution, not too loud, but not too soft. You're doing splendidly, okay, not bad. Let's, uh... Have you seen any valuable metal? <laughs> any gold? No, sir. No, no, no gold here. No gold here, no one here but us revolution- I mean, royalists. No one here but us royalists, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Alright, so we needed a- what was it, a coconut harvester? Where do- so a coconut harvester. Harvest coconuts from palms in the vicinity. Interesting. So we have palm trees done there. I'm kind of wondering if I could put this down here. You know what, I'm gonna try. I'm going to try putting a coconut harvester down there and just see what happens. Because I'm I'm kind of curious. I'm also thinking we could uh, connect this up quite nicely. There we go. 
So we'll do that. We'll see if that can actually be built down there. I'd be very curious to find out if that's a thing. I'm wondering if we maybe need a Teamster port up here as well, though. Guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out if this is uh, something we need. Let's quick build that as well. And we'll find out, again, if the Teamsters can, or the, the Builders can actually get over there to do anything. We will absolutely find out. These ranches need to go up. The library still needs to go up. We do need to mine gold still. That is, of course, kind of the priority. So having a look here, a mine, gold. Where do, oh, we find gold over there. How curious, okay. How expensive is this thing? That's what I'm wondering. Because we could, uh, it doesn't actually say how much, how much is a mine? A mine is 1,000, oh, that's not bad. 1,200 for a mine. Let's get one there. Let's get one there. And we can get ourselves some lovely, lovely gold from all of those. Let's also get ourselves a road that connects to, let's see, can I get a nice road that sort of goes to, oh, give me a nice curve, give me a nice curve here. Uh, something like that, I reckon. Come on, right there. And then we kind of need this to go like this. No, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, okay. I'll make this work. Don't you worry. Get rid of you and go to roads. And uh, we can do this. We can do this. And we can't do that annoyingly, but that's all right, I suppose. We can bulldoze a little bit of it. So bulldoze that bit of road. Go to here and go like that. That doesn't want to work either. Okay. So we need a little bit less road is what I'm discovering here. Okay. I'm going to get this right. I'm 100% going to get this right. So to there and like that. There we go. Why was that so much of a struggle, man? That was, it was more of a struggle than it was worth, I think. All right. So this road can go like that. No, seriously. Come on, give me a break, Tropico. I just want some nice roads here. I don't want it to look terrible. Hold on, that might work. Hey, that'll do. Not perfect, but that'll do. So that'll all be connected together. I have no idea if we can actually get people out there to build any of that. We have built a library though, so let's go ahead and say 10 revolutionary immigrants. This over here is still not Still nothing being done to it, though. Maybe we just need to wait for my builders to do their thing. That's that's a solid possibility right there. Alright, so you're happy about the plantations. You know what? We'll extend, we'll extend the mandate a little bit further. Alright, so that boat's heading out to do its thing. Not really sure where that boat's going. Definitely not going there. Oh, hello! There we go. So you guys are heading out to do some construction over here, right? Hey, there we go. So we can 100% build things on this island. We can get ourselves a beautiful coconut harvester. Not bad. Not bad. So, coconuts are the reason you're here. After years of bootlicking, you finally arrived at the King's Court, only to be slipped a coconut... <laughs> Coconut canapé. My face grew to the size of a watermelon. Interesting. He doesn't like coconuts. He does want a logging camp, though. Now, a logging camp can be useful. Oh, hello. We can do this. We can produce corn. We're already doing it. Let me get a logging camp. Because logging camps are actually... They're quite useful. We can, uh, we can export... Well, we can export all sorts of things, but we can export... Good old, uh, good old logs, or we can transfer it, or convert it into planks, or whatever we want to do. So that'll be great to have. Uh, this down here is actually working, which is great. It's nice to have choices. You want a tannery as well? Okay. I'm realizing that we may actually need a Teamster's office out here on this island. I'm not 100% sure if we do, but I feel like it couldn't hurt. Hey, there we go. Let me get those immigrants and let me go ahead and do, let's see, we'll do that for a little road there. As for over here though, do we have 
The gold mine's going up. Looks like we're about to. Absolutely looks like we're about to get the gold mines going up. So let's get ourselves a Teamster's office over here as well. And we can actually throw it sort of right there on the beach. I'd love to get it in that little spot there, but that's just not going to happen, is it? So we'll do Teamster's office there. And can I get a road out to it? I absolutely can. I can get the road to sort of almost loop around as well. Completely unnecessary. Don't need it looping around, but I can do it. Just throwing that out there. It is a thing that can be done. Now, let's see. It would cost me 600 to instant build these. I'm almost tempted to do that, but I mean, they're over here building them already, so... Might not be necessary. Either way, we are technically... Hold on a minute. So, we need a team's report with upgrade deckhands. Okay. So... Upgrades, deck hands will add more job positions. That seems like a good idea down here. We'll produce more corn. That's fine. We now need a pirate cove. And we also, because we have a library, we can technically research things. Okay. So this will, that could, uh, that could be researched. Oh, there's no, uh, no income. Okay. We'll do that anyway. We'll see if we can get some research going. I think that's what the library's for, right? Library... Let's see. Efficiency decreased. The efficiency of high schools and colleges is increased. Let's not bother with that. We can't upgrade anything there anyway. So we'll not worry too much about any of that. The mines are going ahead though, which is beautiful. This already has its upgrade. So I guess... Wait a minute. We have more trade here. Can we export... We can technically export gold, but I'll export rum. And we'll stay on that. We could buy another trade license, and I think I will. Because we could look to export... We could export sugar. Could export pineapples if we had any. Let's export some uh, some sugar for a little bit of bonus money there. Because we have two sugar plantations. We should be able to do that without too much difficulty. Hey, there we go. All right, let's have a little look at the Almanac right here. So the revolutionaries are starting to like me a little bit more. There's less people unemployed, but there's still a lot of homelessness. And some of those are broke, some of those are poor. So basically, what that tells me is we need to go to construction, we need to go to residential, and we're going to need more bunk houses. So we'll throw one, two, three bunk houses in there. We'll get ourselves a little road going up there. And we could get some bunk houses over this way as well, which is actually kind of tempting because there's a lot of homelessness down that way. So let's go to construction. Let's go to here. Let's get a bunk house and say one, uh, two, three, four of them. And we'll bring the road down and around to create just a little block right there. There we go. All right, so that's all going to need to be built. That's going to take a little while to do, though, so we'll get that going as soon as possible. Teamster's office down here. We could pay to build that immediately. I don't think I'm too worried about it. We're probably going to need more... We're going to need some residential out here as well, to be honest. I mean, people are going to be working on these islands. They're probably going to want to live on these islands.